Throughout the centuries, there have been a few accounts of people who managed to survive their executions. One such woman, Maggie Dixon, was believed to have been dead when in Edinburgh, she was placed into a coffin, but after her family brought her body back, she awoke and was known as half hang it Maggie, after her strange date with the executioner at the gallows. If someone survived an execution ordeal, the standard practice was that they would be given a reprieve, as they were deemed to have lived past their death sentence which had been administered. There were some times that the hanging rope snapped, but then a new one was quickly found, and criminals did not escape. But there were very few accounts of people surviving executions using a firing squad, as it was considered a reliable method of execution, and also a brutal one. But during the Mexico Revolution, there was one man who managed to survive this ordeal. However, he was left disfigured and reminded of his ordeal for the rest of his life. Join us today as we look at the horrific execution of the man that survived a firing squad. Remember to support our channel. Please make sure to subscribe. Wenslau Mogul Herrera was born in 1890, and he was known as El Fusilado, or the Executed One. He was a soldier fighting under Pancho Villa, and was captured on the 18th of March 1915 during the Mexican Revolution. The revolution in Mexico was a series of armed conflicts that broke out in different regions, and it had been referred to as the defining event in modern Mexican history. It led to the destruction of the Federal Army, which was then replaced by the Revolutionary Army, and it greatly impacted culture in the government. It's believed that during the conflict, between 1.7 million and 2.7 million Mexicans were killed in the fighting, and hundreds of thousands of civilians were also killed. Wenceslao Herrera was fighting under Pancho Villa, who was a general in the revolution, and Villa was a key figure in the revolutionary movement that forced out the president. Following his defeat by the Constitutionalists in 1915, Northern rebels were met with harsh punishment by regional armies. Wenceslao Herrera was considered a traitor by these, and after he was captured he was then sentenced without having a trial to death. He was to face his execution by firing squad, which was the preferred method of execution during the Mexican Revolution. Wenceslao on the 18th of March 1915 had a date with the firing squad, but shockingly he would live another day. The firing squad was made up of nine soldiers, who would all fire their weapons at Herrera at the same time. This would have normally resulted in his death instantly, and there was even a tenth officer, who was there to oversee the execution and give the command to fire. He was also given the job of aiming at the prisoner's vital organs and delivering a coup de grace to his head. This final shot to the head was what would kill him. As the firing squad took their positions, with Wenslau Herrera standing opposite them, they fired into their victim. The 10th officer even fired the coup de grace, and they assumed he was dead and then left. They assumed he had been killed, but this was not the case. Wenslau had managed to survive, and he was in a huge amount of pain, and after his execution was left, he managed to crawl away and leave the scene. It's not known for certain what happened next, and how he managed to evade capture, or even survive after he'd been riddled with bullets. It was said, the next day he was found unconscious amongst the dead bodies of his comrades. He was given medical attention and recovered. Another account said, he crawled away to the church of St James Apostle three blocks away, where a church member found him and took him home to recuperate. But he was horrifically disfigured and scarred permanently by the event, but he was a man who ultimately managed to survive a firing squad, and he must have been one of the only in history to have done this. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.